Hey guys, this is Xavier from DNC. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can add a calendar setting in your contact form seller so that your users will be able to set an appointment date with you via your WordPress website. So let's go into our step-by-step -step sharing. If you are looking at my screen right now, currently um, these contact forms, right, is basically a very simple and basic form, which um just having the name, email, subject, and message, right? But sometimes if you are doing some uh, website building and you require to add in more fields, yes, uh, for example, like your contact numbers to collect the contact numbers from your customers. And what about if you are doing some kind of like appointment service and you would like your customer to select the calendar, right? So for example, it will look something like this, okay? Um, you can have the contact numbers right here. You can also have your appointment dates, so the uh, month, year, and also the dates, yeah? So when the customers click on the calendar, they can just select um, the date that they want to set the appointments with you. Okay, so um, how do you do this part, right? So now, first of all, to let you understand, currently I'm using a different WordPress team as compared to yours, right? So the contact form design, it will be pretty much depends on um, the form, I mean, the uh, WordPress team that you are using, okay? However, in this video, we are not going to focus on the design, but rather we are going to focus on the uh, features, yeah? How do we add on the calendars right here? Okay, so uh, once again, to make, take notes of right here, um, I'm currently using a contact form 7 plugin. Yep, so you need to ensure that you um, install and activate the contact form 7 plugin. Yep, so in order for you to follow through these uh, tutorials right here. All right, now let's go into the step-by-step -step sharing. Yeah, so if you can see from here, this is the very default of your um, contact form, okay? Um, earlier, as I mentioned, the super default, you will only see name, email, subject, message. If you are thinking to add in your contact numbers and appointment dates, right? Um, how do you do that, right? Now, um, I did another video specifically focused on the contact numbers, the telephones, right? So in this video, I will be focusing in just the calendar itself, yep. So if you want to know and double check on how to set up a contact number field, you can check out on my other video, okay? So right here, right now, I'll be just focusing in my dates, the calendars right here. How do we do this? Now, first of all, you need to ensure, okay, and double check, where do you want these dates to appear? Where do you want this field to appear? Okay, so currently I'm doing it as right below the email. So at this appointment date right here. So then maybe I will just come here and I will add a spacing. All right. So here, I will just do a copy and paste. Yep. And then I will change the title. This title, it will show right here. Uh, it will show on your website as the field. Okay, the title of the field. So instead of that, I will just change it to appointment date. And I, it's a required field. I want them to set the dates for, you know, to ensure that they come in um, for my appointments, okay? So right after that, this open bracket, this is the part that we want to change and we need to change, okay? So you can see up here, there's a lot of options for you to choose. You can add in telephone number, um, you can add in slide dates, you can drop down menu, checkbox, and so on, right? Um, the rest of it, I actually touch on in my other video, right? Today, over right here, we only focus on the calendar, which is the date right here. So just click on the date, and now you need to decide if this is a required field. If this is so, click on this, and then we're going to change the name, okay? This name, not to worry, it's not going to display on the uh, website, is more to it as just a reference, uh, you know, your own reference in your form setting. So not to worry, you don't need to, uh, you know, come up with a very beautiful names and, you know, very specific names like that. I will just usually go with a very simple name. Okay, that's it. Okay, right, right now, so right here, just to double check, if you are looking at here's right, okay, double check, uh, when the moment that if you do any changes right here, you will need to ensure that you click on a white space 
beside the box, okay? So then these short codes, it will only be able to reflect the names right here. So just take notes here. When I click, if you see this, the name will actually reflect right here. Okay, so if I change again, ta -da, the, the codes will change again. Yeah, so this is the final codes that we want. So make sure that you check this info is the same as here. Okay, right after that, this part you can just close and now we are going to replace this. This one, we don't want because we are copying that from the email section. So right now you're going to replace that with the date. Okay, so all good, save changes. And now I'm going to update my website. Okay, and I'm going to check on my web page. Cha -cha -dang. I will have these appointment dates right here and ready to go. Okay, now, not yet. We yet to complete the whole setup. Currently, we are at stage one. Okay, uh, there's not many st steps and stages. Okay, steps one. This is what happens that you actually display the fail um, and also the uh, settings on the website. Okay, however, when the user select and submit the information to you, right, this information might not be able to display in your email yet. Okay, we need to go into step two right now. All right, in your step two, this is where you need to double check under the mail tab. Under the mail tab, okay, so if you just scroll down, so you can see this section where it's actually showing so over right here, right? Um, the difference of the color. So if you see the color is in light gray, it tells you that everything is all good. Everything is perfect, everything is all good. Setting is good, uh, nothing is wrong, okay? However, if you see there's a, you know, certain things that is showing in, in um, the, the date is actually in black color, all right? It's in slightly solid dark color, it tells you something is wrong. You need to fix these problems, right? So what happened when the users come to your website and the users fill in every single column of right here, and including the appointments calendar, the users hit on submit. This information is not being captured right here. So we need to fix these problems right here, right now. Okay. So over right here, what it means is that okay, whenever right, um, the user go to your website and they enter this uh, appointment dates. Yup, they set the calendars right here, and the dates right here will be reflected here. So instead of this open bracket, it will show 29 2021 okay? So this is what it meant. Whatever information that's entered in the contact form, you'll be replaced with these things right here, okay? So currently, we need to mention that all the information that whatever the users enter, we'll be able to receive. And here, is going to replace by the open bracket dates, yeah? Now, take notes right here. Once I make the safe changes, you will realize this darker color, it will change to a lighter gray. Yep. So it means that everything is all good. Everything is good to go. You see this? Okay, so everything is perfect right now. Everything is good to go. And right now, we can just go ahead and uh, publish our form or to share our form to the public, right? Now, one last step and the advice from Zavins, right? So um, my side, my personal experience, right? Usually what I will do is that I will just come here and me myself, yeah, before I let other people to use my form, I will just come here and I will just enter my name, I will enter my contact number, email, my, you know, dates and subject message, then I will hit on the send button by myself. Right after that, I will just double check on my email if I'm able to receive all the information especially the one that I just added, okay? So if I can see every single information, the input of, um, you know, the message, right? Then I'm, I will feel very happy <laughs> because all form is ready, uh, all good right now. And I can now start to share my form to the rest of my customers and clients. Yep. So that's all in this video that I would like to share with you how you can actually add a calendar Yep, a calendar settings to your contact form 7 on your WordPress. So if you like this video, you can help us to like and share. And if you have successfully added the calendar settings in your contact form 7, remember to leave a comment below and let me know. And I will see you in the next video. 
Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. Help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video. Thank you.